Hello, welcome to Ekideo. This plan here looks very, very simple. As you can see, this is a structural framing of a simple building. As you can see that, just as the building looks very, very simple, and you can see a few columns, but I can tell you that it is quite more difficult for younger civil or structural engineers. That's because if you take a look at these columns, which are green, as you can see them here on the ground floor, the column positions on this ground floor are quite different from the column positions on the first floor here as you can see that so right now as you can see the column positions which is on this ground floor which are green color are when you now copy the columns onto the first floor you will see that the columns on the first floor are appearing on empty space which which are causing obstructions to the users of this building and with that that means that most of the columns are going to terminate at the ground floor and not going to follow up to the roof okay now you can see that these same column positions which are hiding inside the walls which are perfectly okay for for buildings when you now copy the columns onto the first floor they are appearing on the on the empty space as you can see that so we change the color to yellow now all the colors that you're seeing to be yellow means that these columns on yellow are going to terminate on the ground floor because none of them is hiding inside the wall they are only causing obstruction to the people using this structure on the first floor okay now if you also take, take a look at this here right now, you can also see that it is trying to um, um trying to enter into this window which is not really see okay now uh, about 95 percent of the columns are on empty space only three columns among all the columns here on the ground floor are hiding inside the wall and that's because it is around the staircase region and knowing that staircase region is the only access way between the ground floor and the first floor okay that is why and because of that it most of the times does not have any changes also elevator and escalator they are uh, anywhere they are they have the same positions with other floors that's because that is the only access way to other um for the from the from one floor to another okay that's fine so that, that's why you cannot see that these three columns are um are just at the same place where it is how it is on the ground floor now if you're trying to perform a, a, a building design for this type of buildings which are different from the ground floor which are different from the ground floor and the first floor you will be having issues except you are quite an experienced structural or civil engineer then you will not be able to maneuver yourself or that rant now the reason where we have these changes why the columns um, are appearing on empty space on this first floor compared to ground floor we how how the column is is because of this cantilever around the building perimeter as you can see these are cantilevers around the building perimeters and if we do a superimpose which i've already done here this is now the first floor plan which is on red and this is the ground floor plan which is on black color now if i do a superimpose now by copying this column on this first floor using the staircase point at my as my reference point and that's why i put the first floor onto this ground floor using the same point here you will see that that the first floor plan is hard is being cantilevered as you can see that onto the ground floor plan so this region right now around the first floor plan is being cantilevered as you can see that that is why you are seeing this type of um, cantilever symbols which we have here now today i will be showing you how to perform a, a design of this kind of building where the columns on the ground floor is quite different and also the ground floor shape of the building is quite different from the first floor um, building or building plan and all that and the software that we will be using is called prota structure so we are we are going to use prota structure for this structural design basically this is a life um building design which we just got from a client as you can see we this is um tegas work today is the first day of 2024 and all that we got the job at 31st um december 2023 so we are not planning to because we get the guy that we, we are going to uh, give her the job in four days and all that so we thought that it would be nice to use this kind of building since we are starting the year to show you how to perform the design of this kind of structure although if you are a good subscriber of ekideo here this will not be a challenge to you because we have been doing this all over and all over again but if you're new on, on ekideo here i will tell you that you should quietly click on the subscribe button so that you will know more and more about building design if you try to build a career in structural and civil engineering in terms of building design okay now also for old subscribers and for new subscribers if you are not an exceptional i would say that you should just click on the like button to make this video go viral we are beginning the year with with good news and all that so to make this video go viral i will urge you to click on the subscribe button and then hit the um thumb button and all that 
so that the more like we got, the more this video will go viral. Okay, so right now, let's begin on the design of this structure. Now, if you are new on Ekidel, I have already done these column positions already and all that. So, I'm not going to repeat these column positions and all that. But the only thing that I will do right now is to just show you guys how this column was... Um, just to copy this column right now onto the first floor and you will see that these positions on the ground floor are not the same that, it, that we have on the first floor. So with that right now, I'll just highlight all the, all this column right now by copying this column, just clicking on them and all that. And with this right now, once I'm done clicking on the column right now, I will now come here, right click here and then say erase, okay? So right now, I have removed the columns on the first floor. Now, once you're done with your GA, GA simply means general arrangement drawing. It is a process when you position your column and plan your structures in terms of paneling, how your beams are going to flow and run and all that, and how your slabs are going to be paneled, okay? So once you're done with that right now, you now perform what they call superimpose of column. That is to copy your columns from the ground floor and paste it on all other floors, like first floor, second floor, and all that, if you have different floors. In this case, we have one only the only the first floor. So since we are done with our column positioning on our ground floor, I will now copy the column on the first from on this ground floor onto the first floor. Now, the reason of doing that is to confirm if the column positions that we have on the ground floor will also appear in a good position on the first floor. Now, the reason of why I say a good position so that it will not affect the users using the using the building, okay? So right now, in that course, I'll just quickly right now, I'll just quickly right now copy or and just select all the columns first and then I'll apply copy command, okay? And all that. Now you can start your year with Ekidel Mentorship Plus, okay? There, there, there is what we call Ekidel Mentorship Class or training. We will train you especially on on design of structures and also detailing if you want detailing. So if you want to know more about structural design, you, you can enroll for our Ekidel Mentorship Class. It is not that expensive. It is only $480. How about that? Now, beginning the year with good news, we have announced that we can take great times payment installments. So if maybe the price is a bit high for people in Africa and most most people, you can quickly um, divide the, the price into into three parts and then make your first payment and begin the training and then make your second payment maybe towards the middle of the training and then the final period of the training, you can make the, the, the last payment, okay? And then you can um, begin your year with Ekidel Mentorship class with that, okay? So right now, once we are done with this, the next thing right now we'll do is to now copy the columns, okay? So right now, just type CP. CP simply means copy. And then come here, choose a reference point, which is the staircase region. The staircase region is quite a reference point for um, when you're doing a superimpose, okay? So I'll copy this right now as my reference point, and then come over here right now again and paste this point here. Now with this now, you can see that among all the columns that we have posted here, we have pasted here, you can see that only these three columns are appearing inside the walls, which are not causing obstruction to the users using this building, okay? All other ones are causing obstruction, like this one right now is appearing at the at almost at the um, center of this balcony, and this one is appearing at the window, inside the window of this first floor, which is not nice. And this other one is appearing around the bath. Like I can see that, which will cause obstruction where you put your bathtubs and all that, okay? And this other one is appearing directly inside the, the, the entrance door to the master's bedroom. And this inside the closet, which is not okay at all. This is also around the doors and all that. So with this right now, this shows you that the, that these two plans, which is the ground floor and the first floor, are not the same. So once you have noticed this right now, the first thing you do is to change the color of the columns that are appearing on empty space or that are causing obstruction. So just copy, just highlight each of the columns or select them and take note of them by changing the color, okay? So I can choose to change the color to yellow or to red. If I choose red right now, I will, I will just know that anywhere I see red columns, that means that the columns are going to stop directly at the slab and they will not follow me to the first floor, to, to the roof, okay? That is what it means. Also on this one right now, I can see that this column right now, partially of them is, is inside the wall and partially is outside, which is also causing some kind of obstruction around this area, okay? So I'll just quickly do MA right now, which means matopathy, and then change it also to red, okay? Now, red columns right now appears that these are columns that are going to terminate on the slab. Now, once I go to the first floor um, 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 model on this software, I'll now look for a way to um, to insert a new columns only on the first floor and not on the ground floor, because these columns are still going to be on the ground floor, okay? So I'll now look for a way to now insert the column on the first floor, okay? Where I can be able to carry the weight of the roof. Right? So with this right now, you can now see that we have a long way to go 
on this small building design. It's not really, the building appears small, but it's not really that simple if you are a young engineer who just finished school or even an engineer that, that, that have been on construction and don't have experience on design or structures or design of building. So you can see that this building, this building plan, just as it appears small, you will learn a lot on this building. As you can see already that from the structural framing of the ground floor and the column position is not the same at all compared to what we have on the first floor. That means that the ground floor plan and the first floor plan is quite different, okay? Now, if you want to know more about structural design, I repeat again, you can make use of this new year by enrolling into our Equidel mentorship class, which you can pay four times installment, and the price is very, very, it's not that expensive, $480, which you can divide into three parts and pay. So if we divide $480 by time into three parts, $480 divided by three, that means that you can be paying one sixty for the first time installment, and then the next time you pay one sixty, and then the final one one sixty, and that I think that's a bit that's a bit flexible and all that. Okay, so you cannot see um, how we have just done so far. Now, if you want to enroll on that, you can quickly check on the link down below and enroll on that. Now, once you make payment on that, read through, and then you will see how the training is. It is basically a live screen training. It is not really um, a pre-recorded video. No, it is a live screen training where we use Zoom and all that and share our screen. And all that to train you, we use Zoom, Microsoft Teams, or Google Meet, and all that for the training all over the world. Okay, so we can train you based on your location. It's an online training and all that. Okay, and at the end of everything, we also give um, mentorship certificate and all that. Yeah, yeah, you have to show um, any company that that you have been trained on design of structure. Okay, and all that you will also know that your life just know that your life will be different compared to how it was before after you are done with your Equidel mentorship training. Okay, now see you right now on the next part of this video, which is now the structural modeling of this building. Okay, see you then. Bye for now. Subscribe to Ekidel and like this video, and then bye.